your new dispensational belief system is based Holy on Ghost being in God the Holy Ghost today. and the Holy Ghost being in you and the Holy Ghost being in Holy the earth. Ghost I testify to the fact today. that that's completely different than the way I lived Holy and believed Ghost before. God My belief system today. has completely changed through worshiping the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost your God in the earth today. The Father is in heaven. Jesus at his right. Well, I'm in the business of making Holy Ghost worshipers. And we're getting good at it. More and more people are coming in. Say more and more people are coming in to the message of Holy Ghost worship. It's a new belief system. What do you mean belief system? A belief system is what you believe does that make sense it's what you believe it's how you frame the way you think it's how your worldview is perceived it's how you see things it's how you understand things it's your belief system it directs your life it's how you think it's how you see things and it's how you respond to things the Holy Ghost worshiper and one who believes that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and they walk with him then they respond to things differently their belief system is different than others my belief system now is different than it was before and I'm gonna look at that because one of the ways you can tell that you're in a new belief system is by contrasting it with what your old belief system was mm -hmm. Hebrews chapter 5 mm -hmm. verse 11 of whom we have many things to say and hard to be uttered seeing you are dull of hearing mm -hmm. verse 12 for when the time you ought to be teachers you have need that one teach you again which be the first principles of the oracles of God now first first principles could also mean just principles because I'm telling right now if all you have is principles you don't have a really good belief system you just have a bunch of mish mashed fragments of things that you believe guess where most people are mish mashed fragments of things that they say they believe but it's not a it's not a unified it's not a holistic it's not an organic belief system just hold with me here if you only have a couple of the first principles do you really have a belief system no you just have fragments of a belief system you just have principles here we go are you ready for this I'm gonna just lay out the way I used to think say the way he used to think the way he used to I'm not picking on anybody I'm just trying to clarify what a new belief system is by contrasting it with what I used to think I'm thinking I'm a child of God some of these things are okay but they're fragments you understand I'm a child of God and my father is in heaven mm -hmm. I'm a sinner saved by grace this was my fragments of my beliefs these are the things I believed are you here mm -hmm. when I die I go to heaven a lot of this just plain isn't useful is it no. my father's in heaven well, I pray to him in Jesus name I, I'm a child of God when I die I go to heaven I'm like my, my I, I'm these are things that framed my supposed belief system I need to walk in love is this fun yet we all know when you need to, you need to walk in love well, I, yeah I'm not saying that you shouldn't walk in love please don't understand what I'm saying I'm trying to show you what my thinking was and my belief system where most of the body of Christ is right now now can you see I have fragments I have fragments it's not it's not a complete singular belief system mm -hmm. it is fragments and this is the world I live no, my worldview is based on this did it have any holes in it yeah. oh goodness yes I need to walk in love and do unto others I got to do that I don't know if I'm jumping the gun here but you can realize and see what's happening here is almost every single thing I've said right now came from the lips of Jesus in the four Gospels mm -hmm. Do you understand he said those things who did he say them to Holy Ghost filled believers no he said them to people that weren't even saved yet his disciples I need to forgive that person or I won't be forgiven where'd that come from Jesus said it but who'd he say it to he said it to Jewish people mm -hmm. 
he said then he said their righteousness had to exceed those of the pharisees and they were all dumbfounded just hold on here this gets this gets better i'm just show, i'm just showing you what my old belief system was that i walked around in as a christian this was how i was behaving this is how i thought this was my worldview. this is my belief system are you still here above all you're already always ready with first john 1 9 you first john 1 9 it do you know what that is first john 1 9 is i confess my sins he's faithful and just to forgive me of sins and cleanse me from all unrighteousness to me it really frames out where most people are are you here and it's a way that I believe and I plod along until I die and go to heaven Do you understand that people live under this people live under that is it a way to frame and live your life as a belief system no a fragmented bunch of things that I believed and it's why we have so many denominations they all put an emphasis on a different piece of something oh, oh you need to be baptized this way oh you need to do this you need to do that are you here yeah. fragmented bunches of things that form up somebody's belief system mm -hmm. you know what it is you know exactly what I'm talking about I think I've said enough of it John chapter 16 let's look at verse 12 I have who's saying this Jesus, Jesus. I have yet many things to say to you but you cannot bear them now or you cannot have them on you now at this point none of the people that he was talking to were even born again let alone had they received the Holy Ghost he was actually talking about the Holy Ghost here he says I have yet many things some of those things would be what we would call doctrine we would call and include in our belief system are you here if I were to just base all of my belief system on just the things that Jesus said would that be a complete and full belief system can't be he just said I have many say many yeah. many things that he wants to say to them but he but they can't bear them now what's the next verse 13 how be it when he say when he when he. he the Spirit of truth is come he is a he he's the spirit of truth he will guide you into all the truth if just stay with me if you base your belief system on the Holy Ghost who comes do you have a complete belief system if he is the spirit of truth and he guides you into all the truth didn't say a fragment of truth we have a new belief system that is not fragmented it is based on the one that Jesus sent he's God he's the teacher he will teach you about all the things that you need to know about he had many principles he wanted to say to them couldn't say them he will guide you into all the truth all the truth would be a perfect belief system say all the truth, all the truth would, be would be a perfect, a perfect belief, system. belief system how are you going to get to a perfect belief system there's only one way the spirit of truth leading you and guiding you which means you got to receive the spirit of truth who is the holy ghost in his full capacity mm -hmm. to have a full belief system <sighs> if you don't receive him the things that jesus wanted to say but couldn't will remain off of you will remain afar from you it will be be a fragmented thing it won't be one holistic organic system of belief mm -hmm. we have a new system of belief first yeah. corinthians chapter 12 verse 11 but all these worketh that one and the self same spirit dividing to every man severally as he wills who who's doing the willing here the spirit who's doing the working here the spirit is he a self yes he's the self same spirit and also all of the things that are being worked in the earth are being worked by the Holy Ghost and his will mm -hmm. verse 13 for by one spirit are we all baptized into one body could Jesus tell them that he didn't tell them that he couldn't tell them that 
they didn't believe half the things he did tell them he said when I die I'm gonna be raised from the dead he told them that over and over and over and over again they didn't believe it that's a first principle here it says by one spirit we're all bad what so what are you baptized into you're baptized into the Holy Ghost your new dispensational belief system is based on being in the Holy Ghost and the Holy Ghost being in you and the Holy Ghost being in the earth are you here mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost removes the complexity or the complicated fragments that were before it goes from I believe this and I believe this and believe this and what do you believe well, I believe that and believe this all of these things that you're you're trying to mishmash together that may not may may matter may not matter it's simple he removes the complexity when you go that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today who do you walk with the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today and when you learn how to walk with him by saying words it makes it simple it smooths it out it's the difference between you know going down a trail on skis and having to to jump over boulders and rocks and trees and make your way through mm -hmm. to having it just flat and smooth say flat and smooth, flat and smooth. i wake up in the morning who's god in the earth the holy, the holy ghost i wake up in the morning how do i walk with him by saying words you can still believe in the rapture you can still believe all of these things that you need to do you still walk in love you still do all of these things but they're they're now part of one belief system that stems from and is centered on the fact that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words we have a different belief system we have a different worldview is this making sense it's so much simpler and I'm just telling I'm just telling you from where I came from I'm sure that other people will be listening to this on come from a whole set of different you know you might have come from a Catholic background right you might have come from a Pentecostal holiness background where you know you can't wear makeup or whatever you understand people come to this from all different kinds of background and they think that's their beliefs go ask them what's your belief system well I gotta say the rosary three times a day are you here some of us may go oh you shouldn't have to do that because our belief system from is was from a different perspective mm -hmm. I'm not mocking anybody I'm just saying from from my perspective all of those things that I said were my old belief system but now they're smoothed out because now I walk with the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today and I walk with him by saying words and believe me when you start talking you you're standing and ruffling everybody's feathers when you say stuff like this but I'm not picking on anybody I'm just saying that that's we have say this we have, we have. a new belief system new belief. I'm not criticizing anybody's old belief system but I'm telling you when you start to worship the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today you have a new belief system and you enter into a completely different system of belief that will he will teach you all the truth he will smooth out all of those things pre-rapture post-rapture what well, he'll smooth it out because he's the teacher Jesus said that you can't bear the things that I, I would like to say to you but you can't handle it now mm -hmm. right who when can you handle it when he is come when he is your new belief system when you're walking with him is this any good yes. first Corinthians chapter 2 let's look at verse 4 my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom but in demonstration or manifestation or revealing mm -hmm. revealing of the spirit and power he said the spirit and power they're different the spirit is a person and he has power but what did Paul say when he came among them his speech his preaching his word and his doctrine was an open show or a manifesting or a revealing of the Holy Ghost and the Holy Ghost's power mm -hmm. are you getting this what do you suppose their doctrine would be in then? that your faith your system of belief your faith your religion where should your belief system be where should your faith be it should be in the power of 
the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. your faith would be it would not stand in the wisdom of men but in the power of God and who's God Holy the Holy Ghost my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom but in revealing of the Holy Ghost and his power that your doctrine your faith your belief system should be not in the wisdom of men or the doctrines that men make up or in their cherry-picked things that they like to make a belief system out of mm -hmm. but in the power of the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today are you getting this we have a new belief system and when you believe that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and then you've learned how to walk with him you have a new belief system you have a new worldview you have a new reality that you live in that other people don't because they're still trying to put together a bunch of things that they walk around in are you here where should your belief system be in the Holy Ghost and his power would your faith be in the Holy Ghost and his power if you worshiped him as God in the earth today yeah. yeah you can't misplace it then because my faith is in him being God in the earth mm -hmm. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6 but without faith it is impossible to please him him who Holy him, him the Holy Ghost him God right but we know the Holy Ghost is God we have a different belief system but without faith or without a belief system mm -hmm. are you here mm -hmm. without faith it's impossible to please him for he that comes to God now if you know that God is the Holy Ghost who are you going to come to yeah. him where is he he's in the earth what is the best and most effective way to approach God by worshiping him that alone would show you we have a different belief system when I go I worship you Holy Ghost I'm approaching God he that comes to God must believe that he is who is the whole that he is God mm -hmm. is where in the, earth. in the earth without faith without this belief system we're coming to God God the Holy Ghost we believe he is is means is exists say I believe the Holy Ghost exists, I believe the Holy Ghost exists. now uh, part of your belief system right I believe he is where in the earth not only does he exist he exists in the earth it's part of my belief system are you here for without faith or that belief system it's impossible to please him for he that comes to God the Holy Ghost must believe that he the Holy Ghost is and that he the Holy Ghost is a rewarder mm -hmm. I mean you can just go through those things and check them off to what people don't believe about God the Holy Ghost or new belief system say new belief system, new belief system. you're checking off I believe God is I come to God I believe he is I believe he's in the earth I believe he rewards me because I diligently seek him and I know how to seek him are you seeing this mm -hmm. is that different than what I was talking about before I testify to the fact that that's completely different than the way I lived and believed before my belief system has completely changed through worshiping the Holy Ghost it doesn't I mean I, I don't believe some of the framework of the things of course I believe something completely different about those things because the Holy Ghost has taught me to put them where they're supposed to be mm -hmm. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 1 therefore leaving the principles of the doctrines of Christ <laughs> are you still here mm -hmm. yes. does your Bible say that yes. or do you want to say I'm a heretic therefore leaving the principles right the principles the first things the principles of the doctrine of Christ let us go on that means us that means you you and I are us well let us go on to perfection not laying again the foundation 
not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith towards God doctrine of baptisms laying out of hands resurrection of the dead of eternal judgment this we will do if God permit for it is impossible for those who are once enlightened have tasted the heavenly gift that was not listed in the other first principles tasting of the heavenly gift made partakers partners associates with the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. not part of the first principles not off the foundation but it's going on and when you do embrace the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today he completely refashions everything to where you have one doctrine I walk with God in the earth so back in Hebrews chapter 11 where it says but without faith it's impossible to please him he that comes to God must believe that he is he who he the Holy Ghost is where is in the earth today and is a rewarder of them that diligently seek somebody else no you seek him why would you seek him because he's God my faith are you still here my faith and my belief system is one of pleasing God walking with God and seeking God and speaking in a line with God God who God the Holy Ghost it's pretty simple isn't it mm -hmm. so we believe he is we believe he's in the earth he is God today if you truly believe these things that we just talked about that the Holy Ghost is God he's the one Jesus sent he's in the earth and you walk with him you're in a new reality you're in a new worldview that you weren't before you're in the earth he's in the earth we walk with him Amos chapter 3 verse 3 says can two walk together except they be agreed the word agreed literally means to say the same thing so how are we gonna walk with this new this God in the earth the one Jesus sent who's in the earth we're gonna walk with him by saying and speaking in agreement with his words right. well I want it some other way there is no other way this is your new belief system this is not my old belief system that's not the way I lived before I live by these uh, cherry-picked verses of Scripture that help me somehow plod along throughout all life's bumpy places I have a new belief system that that smooths everything out yeah. Malachi chapter 2 let's look at verse 6 the law of truth was where in his, in his mouth and iniquity was not found in his lips mm -hmm. he walked with me how did he walk with him the law of truth was in his mouth who wrote this the spirit of truth mm -hmm. Holy Ghost wrote it spirit of truth are you here how did you walk with the spirit of truth by having the truth in your mouth what's more true than saying his verses his scriptures mm -hmm. can two walk together except they be agreed and here it says he walked with him by speaking truth in his mouth I've said many things tonight I've said several things and lots of times it takes hearing it and hearing it and hearing it most of us didn't get to this place by hearing what I just said once but when I say the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words it may take time for you to come to that place where you embrace that and you understand this is a completely new belief system I'm telling you I did not walk with the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today by saying words when I believed all of those other things that I believed and that was my belief system we have a new belief system and it's based on the Holy Ghost being God in the earth today and we walk with him it's very simple you know sometimes the, uh, things are difficult to say because they've not been said or people have not heard it and so it takes time to frame those things into people's understanding because we do have a new belief system and it's so much better it's so much easier Hebrews 10 23 let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering the profession or the saying of our faith 
faith would be and what we're talking about here tonight is a belief system our faith we're holding fast to the profession or the saying of my faith what is my faith my belief system what is my belief system that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and I walk with him by saying words I hold fast to the profession of my faith my belief system for he is faithful that promised who promised the Holy, Ghost. Holy Ghost who wrote all the promises the Holy Ghost he's even called the promise in Acts chapter 2 mm -hmm. he his name is he is faithful that promised we're gonna hold fast to saying the same thing speaking the truth that he gave us to speak that's our faith that's our belief system he is God in the earth today when he came one of the first things he gave people the ability to do was speak in agreement with him mm -hmm. we call that speaking in other tongues we can also confess the promises all the promises of God the Holy Ghost are yes and amen when I confess a promise by Jesus stripes I was healed sickness and disease cannot stay in my body mm -hmm. my God supplies all my needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus what am I doing I'm speaking and holding fast the confession of my faith that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today he is and he rewards me because I diligently seek him speaking in tongues and confessing the promises should lead you to worshiping the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today should mm -hmm. you should have a revelation remember Paul said that my speech and preaching was bring to bring you to a revelation an unveiling of the Holy Ghost and his power well it's your belief system I believe God is the Holy Ghost and he's in the earth and I walk with him by saying words that's too simple yours is too complicated how do you change your belief system you speak the words the sacred words remember I preached on that you speak the sacred words I worship you Holy Ghost there's no wiggle room when you say I worship you Holy Ghost because you're worshiping the Holy Ghost as God and when you say the words I worship you Holy Ghost he begins to rewire your thinking your worldview the way you outlook on things to him being God in the earth today and you walking with him by saying words we have a new belief system if you don't think it's a new belief system go ask anybody else whether they worship the Holy Ghost or not I'm trying to lead you up here once again you have to say these things over and over and over and over and over again because it you know I've I had somebody mention it the other day that they'd listened to certain messages many many times and they finally just got it you got to do that you have to do it and as I'm worshiping the Holy Ghost he guides my meditation into thinking the right thing into believing the right thing about Jesus about your circumstances mm -hmm. guided meditation who's guiding you the Holy Ghost is he a guide mm -hmm. specifically called a guy is he a leader mm -hmm. he specifically is called a leader when I'm worshiping the Holy Ghost he's guiding my meditation I realize those seem like strange wor words in the Christian world but he's literally doing that as I'm worshiping him he guides my thoughts he instructs me he teaches me all things and he changes your belief what is your belief going to be changed into the fact that he is God in the earth today mm -hmm. and you'll be able to bear things you couldn't bear before you'll be able to believe the right things about Jesus you'll be able to see the reality of your situation which is the fact that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today He's the only God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words that's your new belief system number one you have, he guides you in your meditation number two he changes your belief system to a reality not just religious fragments of things and you attract him when you worship him you attract him say when I worship him when I, worship I him, attract him I attract because God loves worship God loves worship who's the Holy Ghost God. he's God does he like worship yes. is he attracted to it yes. yeah does he surround himself with angels night and day that worship him mm -hmm. yeah so when you worship him you attract him that shouldn't be too far 
for people to understand you understand mm -hmm. so when I sit there and I worship him I attract him I get his attention and who is he he's the Holy Ghost he has power he can heal he can deliver he can prosper he does all the things in the earth would it be good to attract him yes. it's the ultimate law of attraction you ever heard that the law of attraction mm -hmm. you're all that's the ultimate law of attraction is attracting the Holy Ghost and the way to attract him is by worshiping him and speaking in agreement with his words mm -hmm. new belief system and I'm telling you I was not there before that wasn't even part of on my old belief system even after I got filled with the Holy Ghost spoke with other tongues a lot but it did lead me on the same foundation it led me to knowing and walking with the Living God in the earth today okay Holy Ghost worshiper the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words